I think that devolution is really the most potent political force in the world. It's even more widespread or prominent uh, and really shifting political landscapes than democracy. And we see in every country in the world a devolutionary push. It happens either as a result of ethnic dispersion or you know provincial nationalist linguistic cultural movements or because of urbanization uh, cities that are well governed know exactly what resources they need they want to expand their own tax base they don't want to share and recirculate their resources and their precious cash and tax revenues back to capital cities that are inefficient and corrupt so devolution is basically something that is a consequence or, or accelerated by this urbanization. So I see in China, even though China is a you know considered a vertically integrated command and control, uh, basically an authoritarian system. At the same time, there is some degree of devolution with the formation of these twenty or twenty-five uh, megacity clusters where each is encouraged to have its own business plan, if you will, to have its own international commercial networks uh, to develop a stable uh, se you know, sets of inter internal revenue so that the central government doesn't have to provide all of the financing. So there is, in fact, some degree of, of devolution going on, even in a place like China. Devolution, again, is happening everywhere. If you go next door to India, when India, modern India was uh, created in 1947, it had uh, only 14 states and uh, provinces today it has 29 so uh, you know there is really a devolutionary push and it's happening in the United States of course uh, as well where states that have their act together you know want to make sure that they can retain or they'll raise state taxes and spend it internally um, you know more effectively than federal governments do so I, I really do see devolution as the entropy of global politics and economics it's really an irreversible trend